to the Marquis of Dufferin and Ava by Alfred Lord Tennyson I at times our Britain cannot rest, at times her steps are swift and rash, she moving, at her girdle clash the golden keys of east and west. 2. Not swift or rash, when late she lent the scepters of her west, her east, to one, that ruling has increased her greatness and her self-content. 3. Your rule has made the people love their ruler. Your vice-regal days have added fullness to the phrase of gauntlet in the velvet glove. IV. But since your name will grow with time, not all, as honoring your fair fame of statesman, have I made the name a golden portal to my rhyme. V. But more, that you and yours may know from me and mine, how dear a debt we owed. You, and are owing yet to you and yours, and still would owe. V. For he or India was his fate, and drew him over sea to you he fain had ranged her throw, and throw, to serve her myriads in the state. 7. A soul that, watched from earliest youth, and on throw, many a brightening year, had never swerved for craft or fear, by one side path, from simple truth. 8. Who might have chased and clasped renown and caught her chaplet here and there in haunts of jungle poisoned air the flame of life went wavering down. Ix. But ere he left your fatal shore, and lay on that funereal boat, dying, unspeakable, he wrote, their kindness, and he wrote no more. X and sacred is the latest word, and now the was, the might have been, and those lone rites I have not seen, and one dear sound I have not heard, eleven. Or dreams that scarce will let me be, not there to bid my boy farewell, when that within the coffin fell, fell and flashed into the Red Sea, twelve. Beneath a hard Arabian moon and alien stars. To question, why the sons before the fathers die, not mine. And I may meet, him soon, thirteen. But while my life's late eve endures, nor settles into hueless gray, my memories of his briefer day will mix with love for you and yours, 